And the third time was not the charm for Kevin McCarthy. The California Republican has fallen short in three rounds of House Speaker votes. So this is the 118th U.S. Congress. Just started today, just adjourned after hours until tomorrow. History was made in more ways than one. For the first time in a century, the House needs multiple ballots to choose a speaker. And Brooklyn's Hakeem Jeffries became the first black American to lead a major political party in Congress. Jeffries will be the House Democratic leader. An embattled Long Island Republican George Santos is expected to be sworn in. While on the Hill today, he did his best to avoid the media. CBS 2 political reporter Marsha Kramer is live in the Capitol with the controversy over Santos taking office. Marsha. Well, Dan and Dick, the media played a game of where's George today, trying unsuccessfully to get George Santos to answer any question at all about his mounting legal woes. To say that he was camera shy barely begins to describe it. If there were a soundtrack to George Santos's first day in Washington, it would be the sounds of silence. He dashed into the Capitol to vote for a new House Speaker without saying a word, only to endure a chorus of boos from Democrats when he voted for California Congressman Kevin McCarthy. His vow of omerta also kept him away from his new office. He turned tail and fled when he saw reporters waiting there. The office remained closed, the mail uncollected. Congressman Santos, Congressman Santos. New York Democrats remain furious about the trail of lies and disinformation Santos fed constituents during his campaign. Bronx Congressman Richie Torres telling CBS2 his first act will be to file a formal complaint with the House Ethics Committee demanding an investigation. He has no business being in Congress. You know, when you're a member of Congress, you have access to security clearance. You have access to critical information affecting national security. Um, George Santos cannot be trusted with the national security of our country. Santos's latest problem, reported by the New York Times, is the decision by Brazilian authorities to reopen a 2008 case involving a stolen checkbook. If he refuses to go to Brazil, he could be tried in absentia. There are also many things the House Ethics Committee could investigate. And we are going to file a formal complaint calling for an investigation. You know, Mr. Santos claims that he earned millions of dollars from clients, yet disclosed none of the names of those clients on his congressional disclosure as required by federal law. So he likely falsified his congressional disclosure with material omissions. Fellow freshman Republican Congressman Mike Lawler also expressed dismay. His uh, conduct is obviously an embarrassment uh, and unbecoming. Uh, there are multiple investigations underway, and as I have said, he needs to cooperate with those investigations. Now, Santos' lawyer is expected to hire a local counsel to represent him in the case in Brazil. Reporting live from Washington, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Marcia.